And hi once again, everybody. I'm meteorologist Sean Sublett from the Richmond Times-Dispatch. This final weather update for the night, it is 10 o'clock on Friday night, and the tornado watch, it went up earlier on this afternoon, officially expires right about now. Uh, we have not had much of a tornado threat in immediate Richmond and the metropolitan area, although it has been very active a few counties away to the west and to the east of Richmond. We really kind of dodged the proverbial bullet so far this evening. If you look at the radar summary there, Richmond, again, is still fairly quiet, but you do not have to go very far off to the west before it is a much different story. As we look out here toward Farmville, down toward Victoria, Mecklenburg, Lunenburg County, going north through to Cumberland, toward uh, Nelson County, and going north or toward Charlottesville, still a very intense line of thunderstorms. Uh, and some of these are carrying severe thunderstorm warnings and even tornado warnings. Um, there are a couple of cells that were down in Carolina earlier on, which have weakened a fair bit. And we do think there is still the threat for some damaging wind gusts and certainly some very intense rain as we go through the, the 1030 to 1130 time frame across metropolitan Richmond. So let's do a little tour first and again, uh, zoom in to Richmond itself. Just a couple of smaller showers right now kind of exiting, but this is where the main line is, is starting to come in. So we travel a little bit off to the west. Here's Route 60, um, Midlothian Turnpike going out toward uh, Amherst County, and of course 360 going down toward Farmville where 460 goes out to Lynchburg. This is the area with some very, very heavy rain. And now it's not been as much thunder and lightning as the last two or three hours or so. That has backed off a fair bit, as has the, the high winds, because as this area of heavy rain begins to push closer towards Richmond, where we've already had some rain this evening, we do expect it to weaken just a little bit. It's still going to rain. It's still going to rain heavy. But in terms of a damaging wind or tornadic threat, that looks like it is going to start to fade uh, as we go through the next hour or two. Down here, farther south, or there's South Boston, uh, Bugs Island Lake. This cell right here, follow a little blue hand there, uh, coming out of South Boston, that did produce a tornado earlier on this evening down in adjacent parts of North Carolina. Uh, so let's go look now at the, where all the active warnings are. So stepping back again, no active warnings for the moment in metropolitan Richmond. So zooming out, let's see uh, where all the active warnings continue to be right now. Most of them have been discontinued, but there are still a few of them out there. So first off, let's go here to this one. That's a tornado warning in effect for Lunenburg and Mecklenburg counties just on the north side of Bugs Island Lake. That goes for about another 13, 14 minutes or so. And if we look specifically, uh, we do not see a lot of confirmation of a tornado on the ground for the moment. Uh, but this is a cell that, although it has weakened, it did produce a tornado in the past. This is not going to get into to Richmond at all. If anything, this will probably continue to weaken as it heads towards Interstate 85 uh, in Denwoody County. And I don't think even there it's going to pose that big of a true wind threat by the time it gets there. Uh, another tornado, uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, was to be found here. And we'll clear that one off. Uh, was to be found here. There it is. And Halifax and Pennsylvania counties. Again, hail and some damaging 50, 60 mile an hour winds really are are the threats here. Uh, as we look through the actual summation of the, of the statement, everything here is kind of radar indicated, no longer suggesting that we've got a legitimate uh, a tornado on the ground. So we'll clear this one off. I'm going to go back and look at that one real quick. Uh, da -da -da, tornado warning, Mecklenburg and Lunenburg. Yeah, it still says radar indicated tornado. So I think this one is, is starting to lift. Again, don't take it for granted that this thing has lifted off of the ground uh, because there's still a very impressive circulation with it. Um, but as we look through Richmond itself, uh, most of what we're going to be dealing with is rain. But just want to call your attention that these things are still uh, upstream and still bear at least a, a nominal or, or marginal threat uh, as we go forward into the night. All right, let's clear that one up, clear all that off again. So. Next step from there, um, as we go through the coming few hours or so, by midnight or so, everything is, has shifted off the east. So once we get past 1130, everything is effectively done. There'll be a couple of tiny showers here or there, but any kind of legitimate threat of severe weather will have shifted eastward from Richmond out toward the northern neck and the eastern shore 
uh, in the Middle Peninsula, and then it, it's all gone after one or two o'clock in the morning. So you don't really need to worry about you know waking up in the middle of the night uh, to any kind of damaging thunderstorms. This does fundamentally shift the weather pattern while while we're here. It is going to be a lot cooler this weekend. Uh, temperatures 50s most of the time uh, during the day on both Saturday and Sunday. It's not a driving rain all weekend, but there are going to be clouds and a stiff north northeast breeze, keeping it awfully chilly, awfully raw and cloudy outside with showers off and on just about any time. I think in the bulk of the weekend, if you look at all 48 hours, most of the time it's actually not going to be raining. Uh, but you just can't rule out a shower at just about any time. So if you've got some outdoor Mother's Day plans, doing the cookout, think about what you're going to do if, if you need to move that inside because it's just going to be, it's just not going to be a nice day to be outside, uh, unfortunately. One more look at the at the radar. Most of what we see here in Richmond, that's that's kind of false returns because once night falls, the radar, the radar beam bends a little bit, and that's why we get a lot of false returns uh, immediately near the radar site, which is down in Wakefield. But everything out here is still very real from Mecklenburg and Lunenburg through Farmville, Cumberland County, up towards Charlottesville uh, and Louisa. So this has all got to come through Richmond between about 1030 and 1130, mostly just some spells of heavy rain, a little bit of thunder and lightning. Let's put the lightning strikes back up there and you can see them kind of pop them in. So you're still going to have that to deal with, but we feel pretty good that the true wind damage is going to begin to fade here in the next half hour uh, to 60 minutes or so. So be ready for some heavy rain uh, before midnight. Then after that, things should tone down for the night. So with that, we'll say thank you for joining us for the live stream. And of course, thank you for joining us uh, for the and thank you for supporting uh, the Richmond Times-Dispatch. Stay safe. Have a good Mother's Day. Uh, and we will talk to you first of next week. Stay safe, everybody, and take care.